my Luminites, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, my name is Ivy, also known as Intuitive Ivy M here on this channel and on Etsy.com slash shop slash Intuitive Ivy M where I do tour twerk. I do tarot and oracle card readings. So today I want to talk to you guys about contacting deceased loved ones. You guys know that I made a video a couple years ago about how to know signs that your deceased pet is still around. Um, so I wanted to make kind of not like a follow-up but like another video similar to that just because back then when I first uh, did that video the closest person that I ever lost to me was my dog so losing her was the hardest thing that I had ever been through then last year in November I lost my uncle and this was obviously a person and that hurt a lot a lot like it's still to this day like I still find myself crying to him crying for him from time to time because even though he was my uncle he was somebody I considered him my second father during the summers every single summer I would spend my whole summer in Mexico where my family was and him and my aunt were the ones that would take care of me and they would take me everywhere and they took care of me like their own kid and I never felt any different than as if I was actually their child. They never treated me any differently. They loved me for who I was and who I am. And they were just really incredible people. And my uncle was like the sweetest man ever. And he never turned away from people that needed him. And then the whole thing that happened in 2020 happened and it affected him during the end of the year and he got that thing that I can't say because the media and he passed away from it and it was devastating I it literally the pain from losing someone so close was horrible and I didn't think that I was going to be going through that grief again so quickly I had just gone through it in October of 2019 and then I went through it again in November of 2020 and it's like every single year towards the end of the year it's like I'm losing someone now I would cry like it hurt like it hurt so bad to the point where like my even my fiance had to hold me down at some point because I just I didn't know what to do with myself like I wanted to kick and scream and like just scream all the pain away and like kick the pillow and like hurt the pillow like trying to get rid of all this like all these bad negative emotions that were running through me and I was just like why like why somebody that is so kind-hearted he had no health problems so why it affected me really bad and it I mean he had kids my cousins and I'm very close to my cousins there I consider them my sisters practically and it they were devastated too and I couldn't even go to the funeral because of the whole I began seeing him in my dreams and then I found this book so there's this woman and her name is Laura Lynn Jackson and she wrote this book called signs so she is a psychic medium and everything that I'm gonna be letting you know and telling you has come from this book as well as just like my personal experience the afterlife is not something to fear it's not something negative it's not something that like I feel like a lot of society has taught us that it is it's not anything like that the afterlife is a place of love filled with so much love. Let's go ahead and just talk about how to communicate or how to talk to a deceased loved one. So first things first, I am a tarot card reader. That is what I do. One of the ways that I was able to communicate with my uncle was through a reading. And I conducted a reading for my family. And he, there were so many beautiful messages that he sent that it helped them so much and provided so much closure for them and me. One way to communicate with them is going to be through readings. There are readers that can tap into the spirit world 
Another way to get into contact with a deceased loved one is going to be through signs. So this is the one that I'm going to like really emphasize um, because this book is literally all about signs. So a way that you can get into contact with somebody that you have lost, a deceased loved one, is going to be to ask for a sign. Make sure that you're keeping your mind open and that you're not closing yourself off. Even if you do close yourself off, I feel like they will if they they will they if they really want to they will definitely get your attention no matter what but it's your job to whether see it as a coincidence or know that it truly is them trying to contact you and don't just ask for any sign don't just be like um if you're around me can you just give me a sign don't just say something like that if there's a memory that you cherish with them, if there's a memory, something that reminds you of them, pick that as your sign. For example, there was one person in the story who lost a loved one and their birthday landed on um, Groundhog Day. And suddenly after that person passed, they saw a groundhog on the anniversary of the day that they passed away. And she had just been thinking about that person and she looked up and there was a groundhog hog in her yard randomly and she was like okay she kind of chucked it up to coincidence but then time a little bit of time passed and then she was talking to somebody about it and then she's like you know what this is a sign like this all I want and she said it out loud she's like all I want is to see that groundhog again and I kid you not that very same day that she said that she looked out her window with the person that she was talking to and that same groundhog was there on her front yard again. So it's things like that and this is not some like super miraculous tell. This is tale. This is something that could liter that literally anyone can do. And even if you have somebody that you and even if you haven't lost someone, you can still talk to your your spirit guides this way so if you haven't lost anyone close to you you can still try this with your with your spirit guides and just pick something that's very specific to you so for instance for me my sign with my dog um, with Candace who I spoke about um, a few years ago that video her sign is a green tennis ball and I emphasize emphasize not just any tennis ball it has to be a green tennis ball because that girl had a tennis ball in her mouth all the time that was like her favorite toy she had so many toys and out of all the toys that green tennis ball was her favorite so that's her sign and I will just see green tennis balls out of nowhere I would walk one time I walked into my friend's house and there was a green tennis ball on the floor and I was like whose is this and she's like because they don't have any pets or anything and they don't play tennis or anything like that and she's like I have no idea how that got there and then we one time me and my kids went to California Pizza Kitchen and we they brought us some menus and the and on the back of the kids menu was a green tennis ball menu going on i was just on my computer and then my fiance suddenly found an old memory card that he hadn't seen in a long time he thought he didn't even have it anymore and he plugged it into his computer and the first picture that popped up was candace with a green tennis ball it's things that like that that like you can say that it's a coincidence, but I feel like deep down inside, you know it's not. And this is their way of communicating with you. People in the spirit world are able to manipulate things like that. They are able to manipulate electricity and they are able to send you signs in that way. Why? Because it's all energy and because we are all connected. In the end, we're all connected. We are all one. The universe can send you a sign through another person because you are that person can be put in your path for that reason because we are all connected. So that person could have gotten a little hint like, hey, hey, just bring oranges to the table today. Not knowing that the person that's going to see that table later on is going to be somebody that asked their spirit guides for a sign that were oranges. <laughs> when it happens so much, 
you can't just chalk it up to a coincidence anymore. Especially when it's in the most randomest moments, in the most unexpected places, especially when you're thinking about that person and suddenly you see something. That's not coincidence. I don't think it is. Don't expect it to happen right away. Don't expect it to, to just look somewhere and you're suddenly gonna see that sign. It might take a few days, it might take weeks, but you will get that sign. And this could work for anything. This could be, let me know that you're still around, send me a dove if you're still around. Or you could ask your spirit guides, like send me Swiss cheese, a piece of Swiss cheese, if I'm on the right track. Even that could work. My niece did that. She, my niece has never lost anybody that's close to her, but she did this with um, her spirit guides and she was buying a house and she said, send me butterflies if I'm making the right decision. And all of a sudden, she was walking somewhere and a butterfly just crossed her path. And then she found out that she had got the house. So things like that is just something that you can't just chalk up to coincidence, and especially when so many people experience things like this. For my uncle, we have a sign. I asked for a black Harley Davidson. Specifically, specifically a black Harley Davidson. Not just any Harley, not just any bike, but a black Harley Davidson. And one day, we were literally talking about him in the car and I was with my fiance and the kids and we were driving when a bike just suddenly passed us and I looked and I saw and it was a black Harley and it looked almost identical to his and the guy that was driving it had a helmet almost identical to the helmet that he used to wear and he had this vest covered in patches just like my uncle used to have them. And then we were talking and I, and as soon as I saw that, I burst into tears. I was just overwhelmed with these emotions because it wasn't just any little thing for me. I knew, like deep down I felt it. Like he didn't just send the motorcycle. He sent the, that flushing love to me. This, I just felt this like overwhelming, joy and love and I knew that he hadn't just sent me the bike but he sent me those feelings and those vibrations and that energy as well. Think of something that you, a memory that you and that person treasured and think of a sign and ask them, hey grandma if you're around send me a snickerdoodle cookie if she used to make snickerdoodle cookies. Things like that and this can work with pets, this can work with deceased loved ones, this can work with spirit guides, garden angels, your higher self, try it out and let me know how it goes for you because I honestly can tell you that it'll really help. You'll know that you're not alone. You'll know that they're still here. You'll know that they're still, that they're okay and that they're happy and they're in a place full of love. And lastly, another way that they can communicate with you is through dreams. One way of doing this I found is keeping an amethyst under your pillow. I have a pillow that has a pocket in it and I put an amethyst in it. That's another way and you'll find that they come to you in your dreams. Like if they have something to say, they will find a way to get that message across to you. I can assure you that. If you guys haven't yet, check out the book Signs by uh, Laura Lynn Jackson. Really good book really really good book i highly recommend this especially if you've lost a loved one or if you are somebody that's very open to how the universe works definitely check this out it's so awesome anyways you guys i hope you guys have an amazing day and if you guys haven't yet please consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about the spiritual the mystical and the magical the supernatural so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!